Hello, everybody. I think my voice and everything is clear now. So let's start. My name is Ibrahim Ahmed. I am senior database architect in Percona. I have been in PostgreSQL world since 2006. So it's been 14 years in the PostgreSQL world. And other than that, I have 21 year of software development experience in other technologies. So today, I will be presenting a parallelism in PostgreSQL. So this is one of the hottest topic right now in PostgreSQL. And since version 9.6, 10, 11, and 12, it's, it's improving. It's, it's really improving the parallelism in PostgreSQL. So let's start. I have designed these slides and this presentation like it, it's, it's almost the same like the documentation of the PostgreSQL. You can relate each and every slide with the documentation of PostgreSQL. So whenever you want to see, want to learn something from the PostgreSQL documentation, you can read from there and you can follow my slides and then these slides will give, guide you with examples and everything, what is written in the documentation. So it's, I, I'm experimenting a new kind of uh, presentation here. So here, like the, in the parallelism in PostgreSQL, the first topic is the parallel query. So for the link, you can go and you can read the, about the parallel query and definitely it version for version 12 because the latest version is version 12 right now. So here are the parallel query. So we will discuss how parallel query works. We will discuss all detail of parallel queries. We will discuss details, each and every detail of parallel queries. It's all modules, it's working. We will discuss everything here. And second, we will study that at which query can be used as, as a parallel query and which queries cannot be used as a parallel query. So that's important thing because in not every query in can be parallel in PostgreSQL. There are some limitations. So we will discuss that limitations. Parallel plans, different kind of plans available where parallelism is possible. So we will discuss each and every plan. Parallel safety, PostgreSQL provide three kind of parallel safety. Parallel safe, parallel restricted, and parallel unsafe. So we will discuss each and every uh, parallel safe, restricted, and unsafe in detail later in the slides. So how parallel query works. So before discussing how parallel query works and how, what is the parallel query, what is the, we need to know some key terms because whenever I use this term in the next slides, then everybody should know what these things means. Like packet process, Postgres is process based. It's not thread based. Whenever a client connect to the PostgreSQL, a new Postgres process initiated. So, and that client connect to this, communicate with that process. So it's not threads. So the process is a backend process. If normally in PostgreSQL, we call it a Postgres process. You can see on the shell, how many processes are running in the backend. So worker, worker process is within the process, Postgres launch of worker processes within the process that it will handle all the parallelism of the Postgres. And the leader, what is the leader process? In the parallel query plan, Postgres choose, process choose a one worker process as a leader. And the leader process also work as a worker, but it has some additional responsibilities to gather everything, to run, to run the final accumulated data. So the gather node, we have a gather node and gather merge node. What is a gather node? 
gather node, merge all the data coming to its step. So it's a one gather node have a multiple get the information from multiple sources or multiple outer plants. And gather merge node is almost the same as the gather, but it gets all the sorted data. What is an index? It's very clear that when you are reading a book, it's it's a heap. It's a heap. So you can call a table. And when you go at the end of the book, you can see the index. Here you can find the pointer of the words where this word is in that book. So that's called index. So heap is a book and the at the end of the index is an index. So where the all the pointers of information is saved. What is the tuple? A row, actually a row. In PostgreSQL we'll call it a tuple. It's, so whenever I call the tuple, it means a row in the PostgreSQL. So, so there are multiple configuration parameters. I think it's better to discuss the configuration parameter first here. So what are the configuration parameter? I'm not discussing each and every uh, configuration parameter here. I will only discuss the configuration parameter which is related to parallel query. So the first one, the max, max worker process. So how many worker process possible for the system to initiate. So you need to set this parameter at the start of the PostgreSQL. So the second parameter sets the maximum number of workers that can be started by a single gather or gather merge node. Means a gather node, how many worker process a gather node can have. So the next one, I will discuss with example in the next slide, but let's uh, concentrate on the, the terms here. The max parallel workers, that the maximum number of workers that the system can score for the parallel queries. The next one, the dynamic shared memory type. Postgres has had a shared memory called shared buffer. And that shared buffer is used to communicate has information used to communicate information with the, within the processes. So the parallel query mechanism, it's not using that. It needs some DSM dynamic shared memory. So it's required another type of memory other than shared buffers. So you don't need to confuse when I'm talking about the shared memory, it's separate for the, from the shared buffers. Parallel workers. Parallel workers, when you are creating a table, you can set how many parallel worker can this table use. So it's just a hint. It can be less than that, but at least you set the value at that much worker process a table can have. So where you set these values, the most of the values you can set on the PSQL command using the set set command or if you need to set in the permanently you, you need to have that value in postgresql.com file. So, so here is an example. So I have three or four example here. So I want to fit all the example in one slide. So it, don't be confused here. So and the left top, if you see, explain, analyze, select count static from foo. So you see two workers planned, like PostgreSQL main process plan for two workers process. But when actually query run, no worker process launched. So query run in serial. No parallel worker use here. Why? because there can be a two reason. Max worker process, check max worker processes. I said that it was zero. That's why it's zero. And max parallel worker can be zero. Chances are there, 
when you are planning postgresql plan for you that you can use you can use 4 8 10 worker process but when it actually runs that query and sees that your configuration parameter is less than that so it will only spawn that number of uh, processes worker processes for you so whenever you see there are too many workers planned but they are not launched you have to check your max worker process or max parallel workers second right top you see worker workers plan i run the same query again but now i have some different values so when you see there are not too many worker process planned and launched they are same worker process plan is one worker process launched one that's mean it's perfect but no it's not perfect because there are chances that you have everything set up why you have too many too less worker process planned and launched so what you have to do max parallel worker per gather you need to check that so i set max parallel worker per gather to one so it's only planned for one because because of the max parallel worker per gather so third example if you go if you go to the left bottom in this example explain analyze select count static from foo and you see worker plan is equal to one and worker launch is equal to one so in this example in the same table everything is set so what i have done here i said alter table foo set parallel worker is equal to two so i gave a hint that this table can use maximum parallel workers is equal to two so that's the reason on the right bottom you can see now the worker plan are two and worker launch are also two so worker plan and worker launch increase by one so here is this these were the example i think it should be clear that how these different configuration work parameter works because it's a bit confusing the main purpose of showing these all parameters here in one screen that don't be confused where at what situation what you have to do so people are confusing i have i heard many people are confusing that how they can con configure the parallelism in postgresql because there are many parameters they have to configure so here so back to the our example now because i was telling that we will discuss how parallel query works so it's better to be to have some example so here in this example explain select static from pg bent account which is some table where filler is a column name like something some string so if you see there is a one gather node and one parallel sequential scan so this parallel sequential scan scans pg bench in parallel using two worker process which is planned here which is two so each worker process scan one block at a time and then gather process will merge that all the result and make a final result of that so, sorry so this gather node can be a gather node or gather merge node if the parallel sequential scan produce sorted data then it can be gather merge node that's a gather node so all the values below gather are parallel and the gather node will accumulate all the information 
for you. So if you have, uh, it's not, uh, gather node is not on top of the node. So all the, all the nodes below the gather nodes in parallel and the, all the above are not. So you have to be careful while reading the explain or explain or analyze information. When can parallel query be used? That's another important question. Because in not parallel query can be used for the every query. So here, we have already discussed number of background, background must be max worker process. If it's, it's not less than max worker process, the parallelism won't happen. Backend workers for purpose of parallel query is less than max parallel workers. Sorry, number of background is should be less than max worker process to parallel query work and the backend workers for purpose of parallel query must be less than max parallel workers. We have already discussed both of these parameter in the previous slides. The another, the client send an execute message with a non-zero fetch count. In that situation, it's in the internal detail. So in that situation, parallel won't happen. When a prepared statement is executed using a create table as an execute some, some statement, this won't, parallelism won't happen in that case. The next one, that's, a, that's a, another interesting one. Transaction isolation level. Postgres have uh, for transaction isolation level. Internally it's three, but you can say it's four, uncommitted, repeatable, committed, and serializable. But in serializable transactions, isolation level, parallelism won't work. So whenever you have transaction isolation level serializable, Parallelism won't, won't work in that case. And parallel query uses a function which is parallel unsafe. It, parallelism won't happen in that case. We will discuss it in detail in the later slide. The query is running inside of another query that is already parallel. So the both parallel cannot happen at the same time. If one query is running in parallel, the other query inside that query cannot be parallel. So the query might be suspending query execution. No, it, it, it won't work. Parallelism won't work when you have some kind of uh, control over the query, like declare cursor and moving the cursor here and there, and you have a loop somewhere. Uh, you are you're stopping and incrementing, and in that case, it, parallelism won't work here. The query writes any data or locks any database store. No, it won't work. Parallelism won't work if query writes any data or logs any database stores, including CTE and everything. So something that can be possible like CTE, it's possible like isolation level is realizable. It's a limitation of current implementation because current implementation don't allow CT to have uh, parallelism. So, window function and, and ordered set aggregate function are non-parallel. Again, this is the limitation of current implementation. It can be done. It can be done, but its current, current version is not supporting the windows function to be parallel. Support for, for full outer join. It's not parallel. So in these two slides, we have discussed where we cannot use parallelism. So where we can use the parallelism? That's that's an interesting question. We, here we are not discussing where we cannot use the parallelism. Here we are here because to learn where we can use and how we can use parallelism in PostgreSQL. So without wasting our time, let's start discussing where we can use 
parallel is in postgresql so first one is the parallel plans so postgres has different plans like parallel scans in this postgres has a different type of scans sequential scans index scan bitmap scans so how many scans can be possible in parallel which yeah or you can say in other word which scans have capability of parallelism we will discuss each and every one parallel joins and when two table are joining together so can we join that table in parallel yes or no so we will discuss parallel aggregation like if you want to count the rows in a table so for you have to count each and every row but it's possible if you spend four two to four worker process so give quarter quarter of rows to one uh, process and quarter of uh, rows to another process and then count make a count of that sum of that so and then accumulate the result in one node so you will get the final result parallel append interesting one in which you can append data from different sources parallelly so the next one the parallel plan tips so we will discuss some tips actually these are all the headings of postgresql documentation so whenever you see parallel scan go and see parallel plans in postgresql documentation parallel joins parallel aggregation parallel append parallel plan tips so parallel scan parallel sequential scan so this first one parallel bitmap heap scan parallel index scan parallel index only scan so these scan can be possible can be used parallel so parallelism is supported in these scan so on in index scan only b3 index method is supported for other it's a future work in the future you will see some on other type of indexes have a parallelism support so here some messy diagram here again so it's not complicated but if you see on the left top i have created a table with an id and the name column and inserted some data using generate series and because we want to have some data so if you see i what i have done here i explain analyze select static from who where id to percentage 2 is equal to 10 so we are taking the more than getting the value is equal to 10 so you see in the left bottom i ran the same query with four worker plan the first query is a serial one the bottom query is a parallel query with four worker plan and four worker launch if you see in the serial query the planning time is 0.063 millisecond but in the parallel query the planning time increase when you have more worker thread and you have more parallelism you have some more, you need some more planning time it's not too much but at least you should know that it will increase some planning time but if you see the actual execution time in the serial query you have seen 1657.964 millisecond execution time of serial query and 469.946 millisecond execution time of parallel query so oh, it's almost four times so so it's kind of obvious 
So what happened if you see in the right top, what happened in the diagram? A single process starts scanning block zero, block one, block two, till block n. So it starts scanning one by one and at the end it will get the result. But if you see in the in the case of parallelism on the right bottom, you see a process select a leader node, and then there are four worker processes, and it start assigning one by one block to workers. So worker one got block zero, worker two got block one, worker three block two and worker for block four. So whenever a block is processed, the next blocks come, the, the next worker process will get that block. So in serially, they will getting the blocks of information. But if you see internally, it you are getting four times speed. It's not ideally four times, but we can see that uh, somehow it's, it's better than scanning one by one. So that's, that's the main concept of parallelism in sequential scan. And important thing, whenever you run parallel query and parallel sequential scan, make sure your table size is big enough so you're, you can get benefit of parallelism. If your table size is too so small, so don't expect any benefit of parallelism. So, uh, you, in the bottom, you can see a tip. If your table size is less than minimum parallel table scan size, then don't expect any benefit of like, parallelism. So next one, parallel bitmap heap scan. One process is chosen as the leader. So similarly, one process is chosen as the leader. Leader perform a scan of one or more indexes and build a bitmap indicating which table blocks need to be visited. So it will create a bitmap, a leader process create a bitmap after scanning and building a bitmap. It will scan all the indexes and build a bitmap and indicate which blocks need to be scanned. That's it. So next, what next? Same process will follow. We have done for the sequential scan. What we have done in sequential scan, we sequentially give one block to one pro worker process one by one and start giving the worker uh, blocks to the worker processes. But here in this case, a leader process scans the indexes and build a bitmap of blocks need to be visited and that blocks give to the worker process one by one to the worker processes to process so scan that. So after that is it's similar to the sequential scan before creating a bitmap for that. It again, previously we have discussed that table size must be all big enough to get the benefit of sequential scan. And here the bitmap should be big enough to get the benefit of uh, parallelism. Otherwise you won't get any performance boost. So parallel index scan. So it's, 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 it's complex uh, than the simple sequential scan, a bitmap scan. So here I have created a query, explain select count ID from ID is less than equal to 201. Okay, so what will happen? In the right bottom and the left bottom, you see CT ID, and IDs. I printed the CTID and the ID. So 
actually just don't be confused ct id is the position of that row so when we are scanning the ct id ct id has two values one a block number second uh, offset like here the block number is zero and offset is 55 block number is zero offset is 56 so block number zero offset 57 has id 210 so like i have a list of that and right bottom you can i have created a index for that b3 index here for that so in so we have a blocks underneath and have our two workers worker zero and worker one so worker zero will start from the root 200 and scan until the leaf node 200 so it will start scanning 200 200 200 and when it reach the, the leaf node of 200 it will hand over the next block under 105 to worker one which is in block and wait state so in that situation it will hand over all the blocks which has under node 105 to worker one and will get the result from worker one and start handling the values greater than 105 so in that case two it, it divides the blocks in worker zero and worker one so after that when it calculated the here we are calculating the count it would count that number of rows in one uh, worker zero count the count the rows from that number of blocks and worker one counts the rows from other blocks so at the end it will count they will you will get the two values count one and count zero and it will again we will count both of the count zero and count one and we will get the final result so parallel joints so i think we have discussed uh, the scans it's time to discuss the joints there are three joints which is possible to be parallel so parallel hash joint postgres already have a joint where when you are joining to tables there must be a one join node in in case of hash it's a hash joint so in case of hash joint the inner side of the executed in full by every cooperating process to build identical copies of the hash table when you have a hash line it will build individual copy of hash table so that that's okay because it has to compare the values but what happened if the hash table is too big and we are making multiple copies of hash table so what parallel hash is doing parallel hash divided the work between workers to build a shared hash table over the cooperating process so all worker participate to build a single hash table which is a shared hash table so it's easy now when you have a shared hash table built by a parallel system which is quite fast and it's shared so you are not making a cop copies of big hash tables after that hash each worker can perform the joins so you have a hash table and you have a value you can easily compare with that and you can join the rows it's easy on the right side you can see the example we have a parallel sequential scan and parallel hash so we are getting the result and parallel hash join will build a hash for that and condition 
we already have that condition. So it merged the rows from join the rows coming from that uh, scans. The merge join, the inner side is always non-parallel. So inner side of the merge node is always parallel. Oh, executed in full non-parallel. So outer must be, can be a parallel. So it's, it's really simple. Similarly, in the nested loop join, inner side is always non-parallel and outer side is, can be divided into multiple processes. Parallel aggregates. So it's really important when, when you are aggregating data and want to get data from PostgreSQL, it's sometimes it's performed really slow. Like you are, you want to count something, you want to have to want some, the average, something like that to want to do something. So it's sometimes it's really slow to calculate this. So sometimes it's possible to have to do some this kind of work in parallel, and sometimes it's not. So what you will do? So you you have to identify. We will discuss how to identify. You can do that or not. We will discuss it later. But if you can do that, so how it works? So workers perform a partial scan partial aggregates on the blocks and then this partial aggregate a gather merge node join them and calculate a final aggregate and master calculate the final aggregate so if you see in the diagram right top sequential scan is happening five times worker one, worker zero is doing this sequential scan, worker one is doing sequential scan, worker two, worker three, worker four, and each worker on sequential scan calculating a partial aggregate, like counting a rows. Worker zero calculate four rows, worker one calculate two rows, worker two, two, worker three, two, worker four, two. So when, what master will do? Master will get four, two, 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 and it will calculate the final aggregate and you get the final value. So if you see in the left bottom, it's a simple aggregate. We are aggregating without parallelism. It's just aggregate node. It's just scanning the table, applying the filter and aggregate the node means counting the rows. Ah, sum. Here, this example is sum. So I will discussing the count. So don't worry about it. It's almost the same thing because we are discussing the aggregates. So, so we are calculating some here so in the right bottom. If you see parallelism for worker process, uh, worker uh, workers are there. So they are doing partial aggregates and after partial aggregates values goes to the final aggregate and master perform the final aggregate and you get the sum like you are uh, sequential scan, you are doing the partial aggregate and calculating the sum of some rows, some of the some rows and some of the other rows in partial aggregate two, partial aggregate three, and after that you sum all the values and you get the final result. So make sure parallel aggregate is not supported if any aggregate function call contain distinct or order by class. So parallel append. So normally when you are curing a partition table, there is a append node, which is used to combine the values from the multiple sources. So that's good. But what's the problem with that? The problem is the append node, participant process cooperate to execute the first child plan all the worker process calculate, uh, execute the first plan, plan, child plan and complete it. And then all the worker process will execute the second plan and child plan and third plan and fourth plan. So 
all the worker process are working on the one plan but after the parallel append each child process is assigned to one worker process so one worker process will work on the one child plan and other child plan give to the other uh, processes so in that case the plans are divided between the workers so that's good is it good or bad avoid cpu contention and enhance io parallelism but there is one problem i think i have to tell you about that what happen when you have a single disk and magnetic disk with single head so you are just rotating the values here and there and you will get the bad performance but i think if you have a good disk and something like that you will get the benefit of that parallel plan tips reducing parallel setup cost what will happen if you are i think i i have already discussed many points in the start of the presentation that uh, at what condition you are not getting a parallel scans but in the postgres documentation uh, they have one topic which is called parallel plan tips and when i see in the tips there was only a two tips if you are not getting parallel plan try to reduce parallel setup cost or parallel tuple cost but be aware of that this planner is not happy with that if planner is not selecting parallel plans and you are tweaking to some values to have planner to select a parallel plan it can affect the performance you can get the for uh, bad performance from it but it's not always happen maybe you will get some benefit from that so so ah, 15 minutes left for me so i just got the so try you can you can try that if you are getting the bad, um, good result after reducing the value of parallel setup cost or parallel to pull cost and you will get the parallel plan and you get the less execution time go with it so better try it and as i have used explain analyze in in all my slides because it's really useful because you can see what's happening underneath so you can plan better can have you can tweak the values to get the value, best values from that another one the parallel safety so keep in mind when i say parallel safety you can see the url here just click here and you can go to the documentation of postgresql what's written in parallel safety so what is parallel safety parallel safety whenever your query has functions so is it parallel safe or not or this uh, can be run in parallel or not postgres is not going into your function to see if this is parallel safe or not because it's complex process postgres doesn't know your function is parallel safe or not you are the better judge it's safe or not so what postgres do postgres mark parallel unsafe each and every function when you create it's mark parallel unsafe unless you specify it's safe so it's your responsibility to provide this information like what is parallel safe parallel safe mean it can use it can be used in parallel queries 
What is parallel unsafe? It cannot be used in parallel. And one middle of these values, there is a one parallel restricted. Parallel restricted means it cannot be used in the parallel plans, but it can be used. It can be used in the gather node level, not under the gather node. So it's it's semi unsafe or semi safe. So it's safe enough to use be used in the gather node, but not safe enough to use in the parallel plan. So and in the right side, you can see I have created a function um, add and adding two number and set it parallel restricted. So it's, it's the same function I have created with parallel save. You can see backslash df plus add and you can see parallel save. So when you are creating a table, if you are not specifying anything, it's parallel unsafe. And when you are creating it's safe is parallel. You can change it to parallel safe, restricted, unsafe. So any value can be changed. So parallel labeling and something are already parallel unsafe. So don't be confused. So when you are creating a user defined function, it's by default parallel unsafe and you have to make it safe if you think it's safe. But something defined in Postgres are parallel restricted. Like CT, CT can be used in the gather node but not in the parallel node. Same temporary tables can be used in gather node stage, not under the gather node, like foreign tables. Plan node with init plan is attached. Plan node with reference or correlated sub plan. They are all restricted. So cannot be used under gather node. So uh, parallelism is in discussion in the Postgres documentation is almost, almost over. I have discussed almost each and every thing which is uh, documented in PostgreSQL with some examples of maybe it's good or not, but I have discussed in the examples. But there are some other things like parallel index creation, it's, it's a new feature. So when you uh, Postgres has a feature that it can utilize uh, multiple CPUs to generate the index. So what I have done here, I created an index on the right side. Uh, sorry, uh, I have not mentioned. In the right side, you see create index ID side IDX on full ID. It will create an index. So it took some time. It's 11 seconds, right? And I said maximum parallel maintenance worker is equal to eight. And now I today try to create an index and it's multiple, multiple processes, multiple worker processes, uses multiple CPU cores and generated an index for me. So, oh, one, one typo is here. One typo is here, sorry, sorry about that. I. I will correct the typo that when I created this, uh, the timing is different. It's uh, switched. So I will correct the timing. In parallel, it's was it's 11 seconds and uh, in serial, it's, it's slow, it's 17 seconds. So it's mixed up. So sorry about that. So, so uh, in that case, only B3 parallel index build is supported. So when you're creating a B3 index, then it's only created in parallel, not other index method are supported till now. So, so here are the some links. So for, for further information, you could go with the parallel query, OSQL, some wikis pages to do something 
there are the pages you can go and learn the PostgreSQL. So, so participate in the survey. And uh, I want to also ask uh, all of you that uh, I'm, I'm just adopting this technique to uh, cross-reference the PostgreSQL documentation with my slides and webinars and tip and make it public. So is it good to do that? What's you think about that? That because in my opinion, because I'm teaching in different universities, so I usually do that to uh, create a uh, slides which is matching to the book. Here I have a book which is a postcard documentation. I am creating some uh, presentation which hundred percent match the documentation. So you can always cross reference in between. So I want everybody to just comment out, comment on that. Is it good thing or bad thing? So I can think about that where I have to go for my, for, for my further presentations. So that's it uh, from my side. I think I have finished four or five minutes before that. So. Perfect. Thank you, uh, Ibrar. Um, so I have some questions for you from uh, the chat, right? So um, um, first question that came up was, um, do we have any best practices on uh, setting those parameters for parallelism, uh, for example, based on hardware, um, well, CPU, CPU, for example? Um, do we have any best practices, recommendations? Uh Right now, actually, uh, I have done some benchmark. So I will paste a blog post. I wrote a blog post for that and perform a benchmark with the parallel queries. So with increasing uh, clients and different settings. But on for the best, best practice, I have not seen that because many people are complaining about these settings because these are some complex settings. People are confused because of the naming is a parallel gather parallel workers, gather per workers, parallel workers. So people are confusing between these values. So I am thinking to write, I will write a blog post, again a blog post for the best practice for that. But at least for the benchmark, my blog post is there. Okay, okay, that's that's good to hear. Um, also, um, also another question is, as parallel uh, query requires dynamic shared memory type, um, it has POSIX, Sys V options as a recommended non Windows options, which is easier to configure, right? So what is easier to configure? Actually, it's word easier is a POSIX is the easy one. POSIX system V is, is, a, is an easy one. So actually easy is a different word actually, because you have to set up, it's, it's everybody uh, expertise, right? So if you are experienced, so you can set up anything. If you are not experienced, you, everything is difficult for you. Okay. Um, makes sense. Thank you for answering. Um, also, additionally, like, is there um, a use case example that you can give or for um, parallel restricted function? Parallel restricted, I think uh, there are a lot of examples of parallel restricted I give. Like here, this is a default parallel restricted. These are the default parallel restricted. Okay, so it's already there. Because uh, sometimes it's happened. If you, uh, if if uh, the person is still confused, so let me give uh, some more hints about that. Uh, you have a you have a function and you are not 100% sure about that it's a parallel safe or parallel unsafe or parallel safe, but you want to use in the parallel query. But you don't, you want to use in the parallel query, but you don't want to use that function in parallel, run in parallel. So what you do, you create a parallel restricted function. In that case, this function is used at a gather node, not parallelism is done in that function. But when everything is processed underneath it, when it's accumulating the results, then that function will be used. So okay. that, that's the technique. So if you are hundred percent sure, create parallel safe, uh, unsafe, uh, safe, sorry. 
and if you are not if you are 100% sure safe or unsafe is good but if you are in doubt create restricted okay okay I understand thank you um so um also an additional question is like should we already upgrade to to from uh, 10.6 to the latest version will that improve performance of qu parallel query yes actually uh, postgres 11 has some uh, improved feature and postgres 12 like i have discussed that uh, create index which has a typo so uh, it's it's improvement so definitely you have to because latest version is always a good thing but make sure if you have some capabilities of doing some uh, major version upgrade it's always a hassle to do that okay okay that makes sense that makes sense i and um i have an additional question there are still some questions also on the slack right so ibrar so i invite you to to if you have time to just go in there and and answer answer um people who are having some additional questions um there was also a mention in regards to Emma uh, map is there um well is was there a reason um anonymous Emma map wasn't in, implemented uh sorry yeah Emma map is there however it's file backed and not recommended was there a reason anonymous Emma map was wasn't implemented Maybe I'm not explaining it correctly, so don't yeah, worry. I will, I will, so maybe, I will, I will maybe have a look at the chat. <laughs> yeah, I will, I, will, so. I will because I have closed all the chats and everything. Because yeah, no worries. No, I understand. You know, one speaker that makes sense. Yeah, it's happening. <laughs> yes, so everything is closed okay. right now. So I will open it and we'll answer there. Okay, perfect, perfect. Well, thank you, Ibrar, for the very interesting talk. Right, so um, um, it's been a pleasure.